Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to continue the same t-test, but in this case, that would be independent or we can call it unpaired sample t-test. In my previous video, I had already given you proper example how we have to apply t-test, pair t-test using Excel. So now we have to discuss about independent and unpaired sample t-test. So let me take, this is a very good example. Independent sample t-test, uh, a study was conducted to compare the efficiency of the workers of two mines, one with private ownership and the other with government ownership. The researcher was of the view that there is no significant difference in their efficiency levels. So total tonnage of the mineral mined by a worker in one shift was chosen as the criteria to assess the, his efficiency. So 20 workers from the private sector mine and 24 from government owned mine were selected and their average output per shift was recorded. Means uh, 20 workers we have taken from private sector and 24 workers we have taken from government owned sector. And we just want to compare both these categories. There is any difference in their efficiency level of the workers. So we just want to get to know. What we have to do, you can see, I have taken, there is three columns, minors, right? Minors, you can see here, total 44. 44 means 20 from 1. 1 we had uh, denoted to private sector. 1 you can see. And 2 we are denoting to government sector. So 21 to 44, that means total 24 sample from government sector and 20 sample from private sector. And these are the output by these workers. So I had created just two hypotheses. I would like to compare these hypotheses when I had applied in SPSS. So you can see there is any difference in the results when we had calculated through Excel or when we are going to calculate through SPSS. This is my SPSS sheet. I had already uploaded this video in my on my YouTube channel in one of my playlists that is Research Methodology. So this one is the... Uh, I'm just deleting this part, rejecting and accepting because that we, we cannot decide yet. That would be decided by the results. <clears throat> Null hypothesis, average output of the workers from mine 1 equal that of the workers from mine 2. Null hypothesis said there is no difference. No difference between both categories of their outputs, workers' output efficiency. But Alternate hypothesis said average output of the workers from mine 1 not equal that of the workers from mine 2. So we just want to test this the hypothesis whether null hypothesis would be accepted or alternate hypothesis will be accepted. So what we have to do, let me open my Excel sheet. You can see here, this is my Excel sheet. And in this Excel sheet, I had already copied this data. I'm just deleting this point. I had just copied this entire data, total 44. And one stands for, let me give different color, right? So that could be easily visible to you. One means private sector we are talking about and two means we are talking about government sector. Let me give another different color. Yeah, that is. So now you can understand one means private sector own and two means government sector own. So that would be our array one and array two. So all we can do, we can put side by side, right? We can do that because I'm comfortable in this one and two. Otherwise, you can do that. This could be the one, column one. And here is, would be next two. You can paste all these values to that would be column two. And you can give the title of this output by private sector workers. And in the next column, you can give the title is output by government sector workers. So what we have to do, I just want to test this independent test, independent or unpaired sample. Because there is unpaired, why we are calling it unpaired? Because there is no relationship between both these workers. These are different workers. Those are working with private sector and these, those are working with 
uh, government sector, these are entirely different workers. So what we can do, let me open this auto sum and more functions. And after that, you can select here rather than most recent use, you have to use statistical. When you will click here on statistical, you can choose t-test. t-test and I am going to open this t-test. Yes, this is the t-test. I will select t-test. Now you can see here, I'm sorry, I think cursor. That is why. Let me revert back. I will close this. Right. I will put my cursor here. And now I will, no, I will put my cursor some other place. Right. What I will do, I will put my cursor here and uh, let me open this statistical part. A statistical I have already chosen. Let me choose t-test. And t-test, when I will click here t-test, let me open this. Now array 1. Array 1 means we are talking about these values. 48 to till those are the privately owned. Right, array 1. Now array 2, I want to select array 2 and array 2 means those are the government owned. So that means those are the green part I have got selected. This is the array 2. Tail means simply we have to go for two tail tests and type. Yes, of course, it's very important. We are not giving one because one we had already given my previous video for the pair T test. But this is actually, this is not paired. This is unpaired. And unpaired, there are again two categories. Two we are giving when we have equal variance and three means when we do not have equal variance or unequal variance to sample. So here is I am giving three because this one is the for the better side we have to take three because when we you don't know what is the variance we do not know that that is the prior information we do not have. So what we have we will do we can put here three that is unequal variance. So let me press OK. So now you can see here this is my p value. And this is my p-value and p-value is 0 0.01736. Up now, how we have to interpret this value? You can see here, this p-value is less than 0 0.05. This p-value is less than 0 0.0. P-value is less than, I'm just pressing here, that is less than 0 0.05. It means, it means alternate hypothesis accepted. Alternate hypothesis accepted. Right? If this value, p value, greater than 0 0.05, then in that case, alternate hypothesis will be rejected and null hypothesis will be accepted. So we can say, or or we can say, we can write, we are failed to reject null hypothesis. So let me see what is the interpretation. You can see this is my SPSS result. So whether I just want to compare whether these are same. Yes, of course, these are same. 0 0.17 through SPSS, I had equal variance not assumed. That was the category, right? And uh, this is the same result I have got through SPSS. Right. And, but there is no, um, but in this case, there is, um, in, the, in the SPSS through Excel also, we have got the same results. So now how we have to interpret the corresponding two tail P value is 0 0.017, which is less than 0 0.05, but higher than 0 0.01. Therefore, we can reject the null hypothesis at 5% significance level, which means that the average output of the two mines are significantly different from each other. That is the miners of the two mines do not have the same efficiency. So I hope that is clear to you. You can apply a two. This one is the independent sample t-test or unpaired sample t-test in Excel also. I hope this video will be helpful. Thanks. Keep watching.